Brent Tech here, where Tech is made simple. So it's been quite a busy week this last week for um, the Windows Insider program with all the channels receiving a new update and new build. So if we just head to uh, the Windows blogs for the latest news from the Insider program, here we can see starting the 12th of September, which was Monday this last week, um, the beta channel received two new builds. Then two days later, uh, the dev channel and then yesterday in my region, which was the 15th, we had an update to the Windows subsystem for Android. And th then the um, release preview channel for Windows 10 received an update. And now it's the release preview channel's turn for Windows 11, um, which has received their latest update, KB5017383, which is going to be the next optional C release bug fix update rolling out um, near the end of this month. Uh, September 2022 so we can expect that anytime um, from I would say early next week towards the end of um, the month of September. Now that bumps up Windows 11's build to 22,000.1041 and um, if we take a look at Winver currently the latest uh, stable version 21H2 OS build is currently on 22,000.978 so that'll be bumped up to 0.1041 um, if you do decide to install this optional update rolling out shortly for Windows 11. Now, once again, this is in final testing in the release preview channel before it gets um, made available to be re released and rolled out to the general public. And we have two new features which um, we can expect to see with this latest update. And the first one was exactly the same as Windows 10. They've introduced web authentication redirection. And then the second one um, is regarding widgets. And there were two updates for widgets um, regarding the news and interest feed for Windows 10. And they've added a more dynamic widgets content to the taskbar with notification badging. So when you open the widgets board, a banner appears at the top of the board and provides you with more information about what triggered the, no the notification badge. So that's going to be a banner here at the top telling you what the notification was all about. And I'd certainly hope, though, that they have an option uh, to turn that notification off when that new feature does roll out as um, i have found over on windows 10 that those notifications can get quite annoying especially if you are busy and then um, just to look at a couple of the bug fixes um, as it is a mainly a bug fix update um, the first one was also the same with windows 10 in release preview they fixed an issue that requires you to reinstall an app if the microsoft store has not signed that app and this issue occurs after you upgrade to a newer operating system. Um, another Microsoft Store um, fix, they fixed an issue that stops codecs from being updated from the store. And there was an issue that affected the Windows Search service. Uh, index, indexing progress is slow when you use the service. That's been fixed, so that's a bit of a performance boost. And indexing, um, when it is in progress, can slow down your system quite um quite drastically if you are trying to use it if it's um, um, indexing your your system so that'll be a nice performance boost for windows 11 and they fixed a rest stop error that happens after you change the display mode and more than one one display is in use that also rolled out and is going to be rolling out for windows 10 and there was an issue that might cause your device to stop responding in a virtual machine setting when you use certain video graphics drivers that's going to be addressed um, they fixed an issue that might cause a black screen to appear on your display. This might occur when you use a pen to turn on high dynamic range HDR. Um, there was an issue that might change the default printer. If the printer is a network printer, that will be addressed. Um, fixed an issue that affects the touch keyboard. The touch keyboard immediately closes when you tap to switch apps. And um, the last three... Um, there was an issue that affects roaming user profiles and um, that's been addressed and then the last two um, as i mentioned previously with the uh, video i posted for the windows 10 update in release preview and um, they fixed a known issue that affects xml paper specification xps viewers uh, this might stop you from opening xps files in some non-english languages this has been a known issue which now hopefully will be finally addressed and um, there was an issue that affected daylight saving time in chile that's also been addressed. So that's what we can expect more or less to be rolled out in that next update 5017383 for Windows 11 21H2 um, um, shortly over the next couple of days and or weeks. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.